Sup guys, Heeking here, bringing you some Resident Evil news. So before I get started, remember to like and subscribe please. And let us get on with this big sort of announcement reveal. Now apparently Dos Gollum has come out on his Discord and has revealed that we're apparently getting 5 RE games. 5 RE games including RE9 are now in depth. So this is what he has to say. Yep, I know of 5 RE games in development right now including RE9. Okay, so uh, yeah, what do I think of this? I think it's BS. On one hand, I think it's logical. On the other hand, I think it's BS and here's why. Dos Gollum is... A liar. Okay, he is an unreliable, attention-seeking liar. Okay, when it comes to Silent Hill, he's pretty much accurate. He got all of that right. Okay, I'll give him that. When it comes to Ari, though, he's gotten more things wrong than he's ever gotten right. Okay, he got the initial title set in and two of the returning characters correct for Ari 8. And, of course, it having uh, lichens or werewolves, sort of. But then when it came to every bit of other info regarding RE8, he got it all wrong. Alex Wesker wasn't in it. The bad guy from, uh, that was, you know, that was introduced in Project Resistance or whatever for the, you know, the multiplayer for RE3 remake was not the Hammer guy. That ended up being a new character called Heisenberg. Resident Evil 3 remake wasn't an open world uh, RE game where you could do SOP missions and quests and all that, you know, none of that BS. He's gotten a lot of things wrong. And he's gotten a lot of things wrong recently as well. You know, a few months before, or a few weeks technically, before Capcom came out and revealed that they were working on remakes, you know, the plural, remakes, not not a remake, remakes. But during the Game Awards, you know, that just passed, that went, uh, 2023, he made a post saying that we were going to get RE4 Gold Edition and Dishonored 3 and, Mon and a new Monster Hunter revealed at the Game Awards. And that the studio that was, you know, that, that makes... Dishonored, uh, I think they're called Arcane Studios, was not working on a Blade game because they were busy on a Dishonored free game. Now, he only got one of those things right, and that was Monster Hunter. That was revealed. A new Monster Hunter was revealed, but RE4 Gold Edition was not revealed at the Game uh, at the game Awards. Dishonored free was not revealed at the Game Awards. I don't believe him. I don't. He's, he's, he's had a track record now. He's had a recent track record now where he's making up stuff and uh, it doesn't really pan out, okay? The Silent Hill stuff, yes, he's right. I'm gonna, he's obviously got sources for that. You know, there's only so many things you can say and then have that all actually turn out the way it does. But with RE, I'm not seeing it. Now he's saying that there's five RE games in development, right? When initially he said there was only two. Remember, this guy said they were only working on RE9 and RE5 remake. Now he's saying, oh no, they're, they're in fact working on three other games now as well. So... It's a bit weird, you know what I mean, how he keeps changing his story and that. Maybe he has inside information. Maybe he doesn't. But I don't trust him. That's the key thing. I don't trust what he has to say. I don't believe what he has to say. But let's go into this and speculate, you know, what those games could realistically be. He made another recent post saying, By the way, I got a effing big update on Resident Evil Project literally yesterday and I'm really excited for it. But it won't be releasing until late 2026 or early 27 most likely. So to just hold my tongue for now. So again, this guy says he's not going to leak things anymore. And then he continues to come back and leak things to seek attention. That's that's his attitude. He's a troll. He's like, That's what he does. He's got an ego. And he's saying that there's going to be an RE game revealed in tw late 2026 or early 27. Now here's the thing. This guy already said that RE5 remake was coming out in 2026. Capcom isn't known for releasing multiple RE games in the same year unless, you know, it's like a VR project or a Gold Edition or, or DLC, you know? Having one RE game coming out and then another one followed by it a few months later does not make sense. So this right here, this what he's posted here does not make sense. The, the fact that he, if, if he had said early 27, I probably would have maybe believed him a bit but the fact that he had to add in the 2026 and then the 2020 it's almost like he knows this is bs news so he's trying to get out of it trying to wiggle his way out of it like you know what i'm gonna say this and say this you know and it's gonna end up being right right i don't know i don't know what to think but for now let's actually discuss and talk about what re games are potentially coming out and when okay so 
Give me a second. So, 2025, we know RE9's coming out. That's anyone, uh, you know, using their brain can figure out that game is coming out in 2025. There was a four-year gap between RE7 and RE8 and RE2 Remake and RE4 Remake. And there's now, you know, next year is going to be that four-year gap. So, it makes sense that RE9 you know, nine is going to be revealed this year for release next year. 2026, again, Dos Gollum has said it's going to be RE5 Remake. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, there was a confirmation on Twitter, I believe, where the actor or the mocap actor, I'm not sure if it's the voice actor or the mocap actor, for Albert Wesker from RE4 Remake is now currently making a game. He's working on a game. Someone asked him a question and saying, you know, what game he was most excited to work on, and he replied that it was the current project he was working on. So, you know, one would assume it's, it's, it's an RE-related game, and one would assume it's going to be RE5 Remake. However, Capcom did do an uh, interview where they said that they were going to be, you know, considering working on more remakes. And recently, they even did a survey post asking players what remake and sequels they want to see next. And this included old IPs like Dino Crisis um, and some other games as well that I've not really heard of or played. But, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be saying, yeah, make a Cold Veronica remake. But here's the thing, 2026 is the 30th anniversary of RE. Now, releasing RE5 Remake then would kind of make sense because, you know, uh, Chris, Jill, and Wesker, and, you know, Umbrella are a big part of, uh, of RE1, and they're a big part of RE5. So it could kind of fit, but there's a part of me that's kind of saying that wouldn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense for them to release RE5 Remake next for new players. Because, you know, new players are going to go into that game and they're going to be like, who is Wesker? Why does he have beef with Chris? Why does Chris have beef with Wesker? Who is Spencer? Who is, you know, besides RE3 Remake, who is Jill? What's the whole deal with Wesker? You know, what's their history? For new players, it's going to be confusing if they haven't played the original RE1 Remake or even played Call Veronica, which doesn't have a modern take on that game at all. Like, you can't really play that game anywhere unless you've got, like, the uh, PS4 port, I believe, from P like, if you've downloaded a port from PSN. So there's a part of me that's thinking, logically, Capcom would want to, you know, you know, market, you know, the next game on the 5th anniversary and have that be an RE1 remake made in the RE engine. I just feel like it would make sense for that game to be made and to come out then. And, you know, Capcom likes to make these games beforehand. They like to, you know, th these games, a lot of the games they announce sometimes are already in development. So there's a part of me thinking this game's already in development. It's the 30th anniversary. And they've already said, discussed that they would want to release this game, right? So what perfect time to do another remake of the original then on the 30th anniversary, right? So I'm thinking we're going to get RE1 Remake instead in 2026 late 2026 and then the game coming out after that is most likely going to be re5 remake and the reason for that again is the four year gap there's always a pattern there's a pattern with this stuff okay our re2 remake came out in 2019 re4 remake came out in 2023 those, those two were big games now re3 remake again was made by a different studio m2 and you also have to consider what game is m2 working on after re3 remake they would have had to have been put on a new project yes we know they were working on re4 remake but then they got pushed off and then they were making well they were sort of helping out basically they helped on re4 remake and they helped out somewhat on separate ways dlc but what what project are they currently working on? That's the key thing. And that's the thing you have to ask yourselves. Would you give them RE1 Remake? Or would you give them Cold Veronica instead? And this time, you know, have them do it right. And not screw it up like they did with RE3. That's the thing. So, again, 2027 would be a perfect time for the RE5 Remake. Because of the four year gap. But again, there's a part of me that's feeling like, no, it doesn't make sense to release it then. You know, people aren't going to know the history. That's the key thing. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking 2027 is going to be Cold Veronica. I'm thinking it's going to be Cold Veronica and it's going to be developed 
by M2. They're going to be working on that. You know, they're going to make sure they get it right this time. Because I feel like Capcom Division 1 would want to focus on an RE1 RE engine remake themselves. You know, that's the baby. That's the thing that put Capcom sort of on the map. That put Resident Evil on the map. You wouldn't want a sub team working on that game. You want one you would want the main team working on a remake of the original game, right? So that's what I'm thinking. So that's that's free games, isn't it? That's free games. RE9 in 2025, RE1 remake in 2026 because of the 30th anniversary. That's the only reason. The only reason I would believe RE5 remake is coming out in 2026 next, you know, is if RE9 is a co-op game. And for Capcom to utilize the co-op aspects, for them to, you know, wanting to market that aspect, they would continue on with an RE5 remake and have that be the next focus. That's what I would think. That's the only reason I would believe that RE5 Remake would come out that early in 2026. Otherwise, I'm putting my, you know, hand down on it being RE1. Another RE1 with elements of RE0 incorporated into it. That's what I'm thinking. 2027 is, like I said, is 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 either going to be RE5 Remake or most likely what I'm hoping is going to be Code Veronica. Maybe this is why Dust Gollum is excited. If he is legit... If he is legit, maybe this is the project. Maybe this is what's actually going to come out in late or early. What I'm assuming is going to be early 2027. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to be called Veronica. And in 2028 is going to be RE5 Remake. It, you know, And not only that, it you know, it'd be the perfect time. Because 2029 would be the 20th anniversary of RE5. What better way to release that game like a year. Like just before the anniversary on that year. Plus, plus next year. Next year in 2025, I believe it's going to be the 20th anniversary of, is it 20th or the 25th? It's the 25th. It's the 25th anniversary of Cold Veronica. What better way to, to, to celebrate Cold Veronica by revealing that they're working on it? Remember when they revealed that they were working on RE2 Remake? We had, we got no reveal trailer. We got nothing. We, we, we got a picture of the producer saying they were working on it. I feel like that would be a perfect time for them. For the, someone at Capcom to come out and say, Yo, we're working on Cold Veronica Remake. Then that's it. You know, we, we're not going to see a reveal for that until like it's a few months or away from release. So that would be kind of cool for them to do. To sort of celebrate it then. But yeah. RE9 in 2025. RE1 uh, re -re remake, RE engine remake in 2026, RE Code Veronica in 2027, RE5 remake in 2028. So then what's coming out in 2029? Again, if you use logic, it's going to be Resident Evil 10. Now again, Dust Gollum has gone on to say that Resident Evil 9 is the final numbered entry. I don't believe that and here's why. Capcom revealed that they're, they're developing a new engine. It's called the Rex engine, okay? RE X engine rex do you get it do you get the symbolic uh, meaning behind that the poetry behind that now obviously I've, i'm on two minds here on one hand it feels like maybe maybe capcom's actually going to use that engine to make a dino crisis remake on the other hand rex re10 what what what's a better first game to develop that engine on than re10 and have that be the actual final big resident evil game you know lumbered resident evil game coming out i feel like that's poetic and symbolic in multiple ways and 2029 would be the perfect year for that game to come out because again the four year gap between games now again it could be wrong maybe capcom surprises on they release another game early or something else but i feel like that would make sense and it would make sense for that to be the first re title done in the re engine because i feel like any re game coming out now or in development currently would be using the old re engine currently re x or rex engine would make sense for that to be their next title their future title that's what i'm thinking i could be wrong Maybe I am, but that's my hope and prediction. That's what I feel like Capcom would logically be doing. I know some people are going to be like, well, you know, I want Revelations free. I want Outbreak remake. And yeah, I agree with you. I want a Revelations free as well. I want an Outbreak remake as well. But currently, I feel like it makes sense for Capcom to sit down and develop the Chris and Wesco rivalry and to sort of get those old games out of the way first right and also because i got a weird funny feeling i've got a weird feeling right that capcom might might it's a big if they might bring albert wesker back from the dead and he might either show up 
in RA9. Maybe a hint, maybe an Easter egg, or that he's potentially going to show up in RE10. And that they're going to use RE5 and potentially RE1 if they're doing a remake and Kororika remake to build up the rivalry again, to build up the actor, to build up the performances between him and Chris. And to deliver us a reunion, if you will, a, re a reunion, if you will, with RE10, a resurrection. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong here. That's probably a video for a, that's a discussion for another day, perhaps. But I don't know. I've got a weird feeling. I've just got this weird feeling. But for now, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. We're just going to have to wait and see. You know, it's it's years away. We're five years away from any of this, all from this stuff happening. You know, obviously, by the time RE9 comes out, I'm assuming next year. I really do believe it's next year. We'll potentially get more confirmations as it goes on. But for now, that's what I think. That's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. And bye.